Hi there, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Elk Calls. Elks are back at home here for a gorgeous Friday night matchup against the six-time defending champion Corvallis Knights of the West Coast League. Here with hometown kid Simon Lemke. This has been long overdue. Glad we are able to do it now, but just playing at Mountain View High School, now being here in Bend, just what has this whole summer experience meant to you? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, I really appreciate Danny for coming and picking me up because, I mean, going from high school to this is just so much more competitive and um, it's making me a lot better as a player. Uh, so, I mean, it feels great to be out here. You know, every day I love it. So, yeah. For sure. And then you mentioned that Danny brought you on. You weren't originally expecting to be playing for the Elks this summer, planning on just playing for your club ball team and stuff like that. Describe the process of getting brought onto the team. Yeah, so uh, uh, I went to go throw some live live bats at a facility I work out at, uh, Boss Sports Performance. And uh, Danny was there, you know, like filming guys for uh, like recruiting videos and all that. And uh, he saw me throw, uh, throw my bullpen and he's like, you want to go pitch for the Elks? I was like, yeah. I mean, I thought he was joking, but uh, uh, the next day he sent me a DM on Twitter and says, uh, we're going to sign you to a 10-day, send me your number. And, uh, you know, we got that all figured out. And, uh, I mean, it was awesome. Couldn't have uh, asked for a better summer. So you get brought on on the 10-day, but then you get find out you're getting brought on full-time. What were the emotions with that? Oh, it was awesome. I, I mean, um, just – yeah, I don't know. It was awesome. I mean, just pure joy. Yeah. yeah, just pure joy. Absolutely. Yeah. August 17th, 2015. You had just turned 10 years old. Elks win their first and only West Coast League championship. Any memories specifically that stand out from that day? You know, uh, no, I don't have much memory of that. Um, I remember coming to these Elks game though all the time, um, so I mean it's just uh, kind of like a dream come true coming to play on this team, especially out of high school, the first year I can play for this team. Uh, yeah, no, I don't have too much memory of the 2015 team, but you know I was definitely at those games, you know, cheering them on. So, sure. any specific memory just from any Elks game that you remember, like that really sticks out in your brain? Uh, I remember I used to always come here on my birthday, okay. and I'd be, uh, you know, they announced me on the, uh, the announcer would announce me, it was my, like, 10th birthday or something, yeah. you know, uh, that's what I do remember, uh, I always remember the, all these guys, like, they just looked, like, so big, and I was just like, wow, you know, that could be me one day, and uh, it is, so. Did you get to throw out any of those first pitches? <laughs> no, I didn't, <laughs> no, no first pitches, but, uh. Uh, I know my brothers did it, so, um, yeah, no, these games were, were always fun growing up. I always loved them, so, yeah. Well, you're getting plenty of pitches now. Don't need any first pitches, oh. but uh, as you mentioned, playing 5A high school baseball, now transitioning to the West Coast League where you're playing guys of all different levels collegiately all over the country and some even all over the world, have you seen with Mahiro. Yeah. Just what has that adjustment been like for you? Uh, you know, Landing secondary pitches is, is like just a big thing in this, and uh, I mean, just competing. Like you got to be in the zone, competing, and that. So uh, yeah, it's a it's a bit it's been an adjustment, but I've learned, and uh, I'm just getting better every day, and uh, I love it. You certainly are getting better every day. Just made your first start up there in Walla Walla. Retired the side in order three times, and unfortunately the offense couldn't support as much, but you've really been able to have a solid summer, or third on the team in strikeouts. Just how has it been just for your development so far? How do you think you've grown? Uh, I've definitely grown. I've just like gotten so much smarter on the mound. Uh, I'm becoming more of a pitcher, not a thrower, in a sense. So, um, you know, it's just those small little adjustments that I've been making every day. It's just really starting to pay off. Um, you know, Danny has been working with me. Cole has as well. And uh, it's just all coming together, like, each day. So I'm, you know, super happy to be out here uh, competing. Uh, I love it. For sure. And then just you just mentioned Cole there. Just how is it to have a guy who's played at the Division One level where I'm assuming you ultimately want to get, have that kind of mentorship and that younger connection? Uh, he Yeah, he's good. 
for uh, you know, you know, it's definitely you know someone you want to look up to. Uh, you know, you know, great career at Oregon, and uh, you know, he's just uh, he's been good. For sure. Yeah. So, obviously, you're the guy who's familiar with this area. A lot of these guys are from different states. Some, like Mahiro, from other countries. Have you been able to show any guys around the specific spots they should be going and bend? Uh, I showed them the spot where you know you float the river because it's just it's been so hot out, and uh, you know uh, I know a lot of guys go out there on the off day and go float. So, uh, you know, happy to share that spot with them, and uh, you know. Not too many food spots. Uh, yeah, I haven't shown a lot of people around, um, but the river was definitely uh, a big help to them. Is that your favorite thing to float the river during the summer, or do you have a other favorite hobby outside of baseball? I love to go boating. boating. Saw that. Okay. Yeah, tubing, wakeboarding, name it. Love it. So a big, big water boy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and so I know you mentioned. There's some restaurants, right? But I, I've personally tried out some restaurants here, and they've been pretty good. Do you have one specifically that you find to be your favorite? My favorite is uh, Worthy. My, my family always goes there after games. You know, in, in high school, we'd always, when I was in high school, uh, after a game, we'd always go to Worthy just to, you know, sit down and, uh, you know, talk about the game, get some good food. Uh, so, yeah, that's a great spot. They also have, like, a lookout spot area. And uh, yeah, no, that's a good, that's a really good spot. I'll have recommend. to try that out. I went to Pine Tavern and like the old Pancake House, so okay, I'll, have yeah. to, I'll have to try to, that one out for sure. Um, but going to Columbia Basin this next season, g playing in the collegiate ball, having to move away from Ben, just how would you summarize your childhood here playing in a beautiful place like Central Oregon? Oh, I mean, I love it. Uh, you know, um, in a sense, I feel like it's a, you know, it's good to go look out somewhere else. So, um, you know, I'm going to enjoy my time in the Tri-Cities, but, you know, nothing beats Bend. Nothing does. So um, we'll see how it goes, and, uh, you know, hopefully I'll be back here next summer to just be back with my family, come back, play with Danny, Joey, all them. Well, I'm sure all the Elks fans would sure enjoy that. Simon Lemke, hometown kid on this edition of Elk Calls. Thanks so much for taking the time. Elks taking on the Corvallis Knights tonight at 635 right here at Vince Gennis Stadium.